We begin this morning with Dr. Dave Lawman, our OSU Extension beef cattle specialist. And Dave, today we want to talk about creep feeding. You and I have talked about this topic before, and why don't we refresh the memory of our viewers of, of what this is and kind of some of the questions you've been getting lately. Sure. Well, a common practice in the beef cattle industry, uh, I should say maybe an occasional practice in the beef cattle industry, is to provide feed to calves that are still nursing their mothers and restricting access so the cow so the cows cannot get in there and consume all the all the feed that is what we refer to as creep feeding so we're just feeding those nursing calves and it historically as i mentioned last time we discussed this um, our recommendation has been that it's generally not cost effective uh, but we start getting more phone calls uh, when cattle prices are high. And as you know, uh, we're in an era right now or a period of time where cattle prices are, are all time record high. So we're getting quite a few questions about creep feeding. So Daryl says those prices are likely going to continue to stay high, at least through the end of the year. So folks who may be considering this, how do you run the numbers and, and how do you make really an exhausting list of, of what the, the cost might be? So the, one of the first things to consider is that the longer you, f you provide creep feed to calves, uh, the more they learn to eat. And yes, it will add to their weight gain. Uh, but generally speaking, calves will consume if it's, if it's like a 14% creep feed, very common commercial product available in nearly every feed store. Uh, they'll consume anywhere from about two and a half up to six or seven pounds of creep feed average per day. The longer you creep feed them, the higher that number is going to get, the higher the average creep intake is going to become. Uh, one concern, one of these nuances, is that if you feed creep feed for very long, those calves are going to start to get fleshy. So want to avoid that. I would say, you know, most of the research indicates that 60 to 90 days of creep feeding does not produce that situation. The other thing, Lyndall, that people need to consider is how good a quality diet do they have out there in the pasture and how much milk is there, are their mothers producing. Uh, the better the quality diet, the calves have without creep feed, the poorer the creep feed conversion is, okay? Because you're basically swapping one good uh, diet, uh, one good part of the diet for another. You're, you're, you're taking, say, milk consumption or high quality forage consumption and replacing it with an expensive creep feed. Give me an example scenario and then talk about the dollar value of gain, how that plays in. Okay, so if we assume uh, average uh, creep feed intake um, and average quality forage, that, that conversion t generally is around nine pounds of creep feed per one additional pound of calf weight gain. Okay, and then if you have uh, $300 a ton creep feed price, that's 15 cents a pound. So nine pounds of creep feed, you get an additional pound of gain times 15 cents to $1.35. Uh, so that would be your feed cost per pound of weight gain. The value of gain right now, again, is uh, probably higher than I have ever seen it before. The value of weight gain is real close to $2 a pound. So we've got a dollar thirty-five feed expense. We've got a two-dollar value of additional weight gain. The thing we haven't considered yet is your labor, the time to put out the creep feed, set the creep feeder up, so on and so forth. Monitor creep intake. So get your pencil and paper out and really detail those numbers and and think about it. Yeah, and and we can provide access to a, a nice article that goes through all these nuances and kind of the range for each one of them that you might expect and what might influence them. And they can use that information to make, you know, help make that those decisions. Great, great. Kind of step by step how to map this out. Exactly. Dave, great information. Thank you very much. Absolutely. 
And for a link to that article that Dave just mentioned, we have it for you at sunup.okstate.edu.